so big and that's one example. Secondly, why happily tribal histories and oral history accounts are completely omitted? Why? I can never find them. The Todas have an excellent folk. Toda is, a, is one of the tribes in the neighbouring and they have an excellent folk uh, story to tell us about how they look at the colonial rule. Nobody records it, neither it appears anywhere. Open to anyone who can respond to this. Thank you. I think I have better. Um, I have a good afternoon. Um, you know, when, uh, when, uh, sorry, when the, uh, when the, uh, when this, uh, when the textbooks under um, NC of 2005 were generated, um, the idea was that, as Professor Krishnakumar said, that um, there, there were many pasts that needed to be recorded and that somewhere or another uh, you should allow a degree of choice concerning which past you decided to dip into and work with. Um, so inevitably, uh, and this issue of uh, learning without burden I think was uh, somewhere a, a guiding principle as well, which is that you should not feel that you should take upon yourself all pasts together. Uh, now, uh, the school examination system or the testing system was meant somehow or not to generate a, uh, a situation in which um, different options would find a space. So, for instance, if you decided to deal with painting somewhere, well, you could do it. And in fact, a system would actually enable you to register your competence as a consequence of having it. Right? Now, if school managements do not actually respond to that particular opportunity, which is what the textbook was meant to generate, then, you know, somewhere or another, that is a, a school problem. It's not something that from the outside you can actually say, can be guided. It's you make the school, there's somewhere or another, the best you can do from the outside is to create a space within which the school can actually engage with different classes. But if the school itself or a group of schools decides to go in a particular way, that's not something that can be engineered or dealt with as, as a problem. You see this, uh, I think somewhere there was an, an additional issue involved here too, which is that um, it was important not only to ensure that there was a registry of different pasts, but to provide an opportunity for you to decide to test your competence in some, but engage with others. Nothing wrong with reading the subject, you did not have to be tested on it. Nothing wrong with reading the subject, you did not have to do your project on it. So, the teacher as well as the student actually through this textbook had a large variety of different aspects of this whole to be able to engage with, but they decided to test themselves if they wish to test themselves or if the school wish to test itself according to a particular form. I think that was the idea of the way in which the textbooks were set up. You're not meant to kind of deal with everything, one. Second thing regarding your totas, etc. Uh, when these books were generated, first and foremost, they were generated within this state system. So, in fact, the NCRT had a curriculum group, which is an admiral curriculum group, which <coughs> tried to create a discourse with the states. And the states themselves and different uh, states had a right to generate their own version of the textbook with different editions. So, if you look at the NCRT textbook, the Northeast, or what has become of them once they've been Manipur's textbooks or Assam's textbooks, etc., etc., you will see that there are different chapters which have been introduced. Now, it is possible, therefore, within the system within which we were working, to create a situation where these pasts could be yet more pasts. Now, the argument here would be, and I think this is where the idea of India is rather important. The argument would be, but somewhere or another you are losing a big picture. 
You know, I, uh, this I don't think is true because the way the actual textbooks were evolved from six onwards, somewhere there is some sense of the temporal as well as territorial space that we're dealing with in its larger as well as its more limited sense. And at the same time, India is after all many different engagements. The point is that you are not simply one citizen of one thing. You are normally a citizen who is associated with a country in which there are many different views. And somewhere or another that history must actually come down to. I wish very quickly to deal with what Professor Krishna said when you dealing with child psychology. The EDS, the Environmental Studies Textbooks, which were meant to deal with pre-class five, attempted to give a temporal space to the child's own environment, to the child's own development. Somewhere or another, you were meant to deal with your parents, your spaces, etc. So that when finally, in class six, our past begin, you have a sense of time, your time as a growing child. And that enhancement of that domain, that mental space, was I think very, very important to the foundations that the textbooks of this time actually uh, were <laughs> dealing with an appealing. I hope that partially at least answers some of your questions. Just hearing uh, um, what Mr. Uh, Sassan was saying, perhaps uh, you know there must be a core group of uh, history teachers. If you could just negotiate with the uh, you know management or the coordinator, so that uh, you know you can every year or every alternate year change the um, the order in which you teach. Maybe the the, the chapters which you want included. For a particular year, uh, you know, that can be done. We don't have a problem uh, with the uh, books of the West Bengal board because, uh, you know, no such options are. <laughs> <laughs> I would just like to add that I think we need to distinguish the textbook as it is for teaching. Even their curiosity, take care of the body One use of the textbook. And the other is textbook as a uh, means of examining. If we make that distinction clearer in our mind, then we can see that um, not the entire textbook needs to be the basis for examining whether a child has developed certain capacity for historical inquiry expected at that period. If that's for goal, rather than how many things he now knows and can reproduce, if that's if, if our that's goal to see whether a child has now picked up some tools of historical inquiry, then you can decide to have the examination entirely on the basis of let's say two chapters instead of all the chapters in that book. In fact, in the grade 9 textbook, it was mentioned in the uh, opening pages of the book that for this textbook in grade 9, any four chapters will suffice for classroom engagement. Now, that of course uh, brought the nation to a near halt because nobody had ever heard of a textbook that doesn't require itself to be covered. And we kept reminding the nation that yes, the idea is to discover and not to cover this textbook. <laughs> Our goal is to make children discover things. Wonderful. And in these four chapters, any four that a teacher chooses, that she will engage with, uh, the rest of the textbook may or may not be read by the child herself. And the whole point was to make these textbooks so attractive that children will read them on their own, and then many, many still do. And I think it's for the teachers to see whether they are in tune with the idea underpinning the text. Unfortunately, many teachers have simply read the text they haven't read the policy documents underpinning them. Yes. Yes. And there are several such documents that, uh, despite regime change, continue to be available in the public domain and I think need to be engaged with. And then perhaps teachers will be uh, in a 
better position to engage with their own managements. Uh, uh, because the managements are not expected to know why this particular approach is being chosen. Okay. 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 Some space for dialogue. 
and uh, in those years one could see that the uh, subject of sociology sometimes stays got to be because there were some very enthusiastic sociologists who uh, worked with CBSC for a sustained number of hours, partly because sociology is a very small discipline that are in, in school level and there are very few schools that have. But in other areas I know never been. As bodies, they have absolutely no means of maintaining this kind of diet. They have two autonomous bodies. CBSC is even more autonomous because it's financially autonomous. It's a self-financing body now. Does so any is, is there a possibility that, uh, you know, uh, the previous step was just one particular word or two words which they said should be deleted? This year it is two chapters or parts of two chapters. Yeah. Is there a possibility that, you know, they might send a directive saying that we no longer uh, want you to, uh, you know, take the NCRTs? That possibility is always there. As some people say, let the market today, if the CDFC decides that, uh, surely they can uh, stop getting NCRT textbooks completely. But at the moment, we are in good season. They are saying only the NCRT textbooks. Now this is a kind of a, I think, uh, futuristic thing. That perhaps in the future they would be happy in what the NCRT textbooks are used. But right now, our textbooks are benefiting from this uh, big spring. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Uh,